What's up, Net Soldiers? I'm Net Alliance. Today is part three of Star Wars character ages that will blow your mind. Now, like I just said, this is part three. That means that there is a part one and a part two. So if you'd like to check those out, make sure to click the link in the description below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more Star Wars content. But with that said and out of the way, let's begin. Now for our first age fact, in The Phantom Menace, Qui-Gon is 60 years old. And at this same point in time, Palpatine is 50 years old. That means that Qui-Gon Jinn is actually 10 years older than Palpatine. And to me, I think this is really interesting, just because the fact that Qui-Gon doesn't look 60 in the first place, but to actually consider he's 10 years older than Palpatine, who's supposed to be this massive Sith Lord who knows all darkness and is just super evil. It's just one of those crazy things that uh, I feel like Star Wars likes to throw in here and there. Especially when you you compare the two characters and Qui-Gon looks like he might be in his 50s and even that's kind of pushing it and then you look at Palpatine he's definitely in his late 50s maybe even early 60s like that type of time range it just it just is interesting how things work that way and like I mentioned in my previous videos a lot of these mind-blowing age facts are due to the actors ages themselves a lot of the actors are playing older characters for instance Qui-Gon Jinn which is Liam Neeson he was like 40 at the time so he's actually playing 20 years older of a character so a lot of that can be contributed to that but it's still something crazy I never knew, and to think Qui-Gon is actually 10 years older than Palpatine is just, just really interesting. Speaking of Palpatine, in Star Wars Episode 3, Palpatine was 63 years old, which is pretty crazy considering he looks like he's in his early 70s, maybe even late 70s, but of course, that's a video for another time. But what makes it even crazier, in the same movie, Count Dooku at the time of his death is 83 meaning Palpatine is 20 years younger than Dooku. Now I actually knew this age fact for a while, but it does kind of blow your mind when you hear that. Especially when you consider that Palpatine is Dooku's master, and you never hear a younger person being the master of an older person, so when you hear this, it's really crazy. It wasn't like they just had like a 10 year difference, they had a whole 20 year difference. Now apparently there's a thing with the dark side where it actually corrupts your body and makes you look older than you actually are, and that's what Palpatine is suffering from. So I guess it does make sense when you put it that way. But to hear that Palpatine is actually 20 years younger than Dooku, it's, just, it's still pretty crazy even just hearing it now, and I knew it for years. Now for our next age fact, according to the Star Wars timeline, Ezra is 15 years old in the first season of Star Wars Rebels, which takes place four years before A New Hope. So if Ezra does live to A New Hope, he would be 19. Meaning, Ezra Bridger and Luke Skywalker would be the exact same age, since Luke is 19 in A New Hope. Which this fact itself isn't that big of a deal, but when you consider that one scene from Rebels in Season 3, when we see Luke running in the distance and he definitely looks like a younger kid, even younger than 15, it's kind of confusing. Especially since this episode is only two years after Season 1 and two years before A New Hope. Meaning that that little kid Luke that we saw running would actually be 17 years old. Now of course, this could be chalked up to maybe the distance or perhaps the heat of the sand, even though it was nighttime, was kind of making a mirage and making Luke look younger. But whatever the case, I think it's something that should be addressed. For our next fact, if you've ever seen my previous Star Wars character ages, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, link below. In The Phantom Menace, Obi-Wan Kenobi was 25 years old, but in that exact same movie, Darth Maul was only 22 years old, meaning Obi-Wan is actually 3 years older than his arch enemy. Now when I first found out about this, this one really blew my mind. And I know I use the whole blew my mind thing a lot, but when you consider the title of this video is called This Will Blow Your Mind, probably, you know, I'm probably gonna say that a lot. There you go, haters. Take that. Yeet, as the kids say. Anyways, back to the actual video. I always figured Darth Maul was older than Obi-Wan, or at least his exact same age, at least 25 or something. And although 22 isn't that far off, Maul looks like he is older than Obi-Wan. But I have to give them credit, because although Maul does look scary, he still does look relatively young. Even with the costume and the makeup on, it just looks really interesting. Especially when you consider Darth Maul actually killed a Jedi Master. Now, although I would personally debate that Qui-Gon would have won had the circumstances been a little bit more in his favor, it was still a very impressive feat. Now for our last fact, this one I always knew, but when I actually started to think about it, it really did blow my mind. So, like I previously mentioned, Obi-Wan was 25 in The Phantom Menace, and Anakin was 9, about to turn 10. Now, fast forward 13 years later in Revenge of the Sith, Obi-Wan was 38, and Anakin was 23. So this means by the time Kenobi became a Jedi Knight, he was 25. And by the time Anakin was 23, he had already lost his arm, became a knight, had his own padawan, 
fought in the Clone Wars, became a war hero, was regarded as one of the best duelists of his time, and later became Darth Vader all before he was even 25. So this begs the question, was Anakin's turn to the dark side really his fault, or did Obi-Wan just have it easy? I'll let you guys decide by voting on the poll at the top of the screen. But that's it for all these age facts, if these blow your mind, let me know in the comments below. Please remember to like and subscribe for more Star Wars content, and until next time guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Hey you, yeah you, the one watching this video. You have a body, right? Cool, you know what that means? You need some clothes to cover that body. Luckily, NetAlliance is here with the merch for you. We got shirts, sweatshirts, tank tops, we even have mugs. But this sweet NetAlliance merch won't last forever. So make sure to follow the link in the description below to pick up some sweet NetAlliance merch. Isn't that right, Palpatine? Do it.